Mother Nature has been inspiring scientists for ages. Researchers have made adhesives that mimic gecko feet and super sticky muscles. And they've made artificial leaves that behave something like the real thing, making fuel from sunlight. Now, a team led by John DeBerry of Caltech and Kevin Kit Parker of Harvard have made a synthetic version of a jellyfish. Listen as Jana Naroth, a fifth-year graduate student in DeBerry's group at Caltech, talks about why they took on such a challenge. Okay, so yeah, we're interested in the jellyfish as a model system because it has a very simple set of functions or behaviors. Uh, that is, it contracts and it relaxes its bell and by this propels itself and uh, feeds itself. And it doesn't have a lot of other functions, and so it's relatively, relatively straightforward to connect or to relate its structure to those functions. To make the fake jellyfish, the researchers fabricated a thin silicone polymer sheet with eight arms. Then they printed a lined pattern of the protein fibronectin onto the sheet to mimic the muscle fiber architecture of the jellyfish. Finally, they seeded heart cells from a rat onto the structure and incubated the whole thing to form tissue. The final jellyfish mimic, which the researchers call a medusoid, swims like the real thing. It pumps through an aqueous bath as an electrical field pulses on and off, activating the conductive heart cells on its surface. Getting the fake jellyfish to match the real animal's motion, stroke for stroke, was no easy task. Listen as Naroth explains one failed design. Initially, we uh, very naively just built a biomimetic jellyfish, that is, we just copied more or less the muscle tissue we saw in the jellyfish and it's also its overall shape, but it turned out that this was not functional. The silicone rubber that we are using is too stiff for the muscle layer to, to contract. To optimize their final design, the researchers mapped a real jellyfish's swim stroke with a technique called digital particle image velocimetry. The data they collected was inputted into a computer model, which eventually helped them make the ideal jellyfish mimic. Naroth continues. So in this video, we show a comparison of the real jellyfish to the left and the optimal design. But it's just to point out that the real jellyfish and the uh, optimal design are actually swimming quite similar in, their, in the distance that they propel themselves per stroke. In addition to being cool, the fake jellyfish could have applications in the future. Naroth says they might be used to test cardiac medicines as a step on the way towards engineering organs that pump or to discover something new about jellyfish evolution.